sausage, carnitas, banh mi. Pork is a staple food found in almost every culture across the world, and it's one of the most ingrained foods in Wisconsin culture today. So let's travel through our taste buds to find out where it comes from, how it can be made, and the best ways to share it with our friends and family. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Hey, State Fair was fun, but now I'm here at the source. I'm at Johnsonville's global headquarters to get a tour of behind the scenes. I'm gonna watch them smoke the sausage, try it and everything. This is gonna be great. Now this is uh, the original facility for Johnsonville, Correct. right along the river. So this dates back around to the 40s when it was founded, yep. right? When yep. Johnson Bills first 1940s. started? 1940s, so yeah, this is, this is the history behind this, uh, this company. That's pretty cool. And today, Johnsonville, which started in that little butcher shop, has grown to become, I believe, the largest sausage manufacturer in the country, right? Correct, we're the, the number one sausage producer in, in the nation. We export to like 42 different countries. Wow, from right here? From right here in the little town of Johnsonville. So. How is the sausage made? So it all starts, of course, in the in the stuffing area where they stuff the product and then we will bring it out into the smoking department and we'll throw it into a, a what we call a greening room and it's the fermentation room. And once we hit the targeted pH, we'll put them into these pits, which are right behind us here, Eric. And once we get the yield that we're looking for, we'll actually throw it into our auto ovens and we'll give it the final cook off. So that's really all three of the main Wisconsin food groups, beer, cheese, and sausage, require fermentation and culture. Absolutely. I Absolutely. feel very cultured now. So John, you have a fun job here. What's your official title in your role? So my official title is a product development scientist. I'm a meat scientist by training. A meat scientist, <laughs> love it. I mean, how do you develop new products? What do you work on? What's your process? How does it go? Typically what we'll do, we'll take an idea from the marketing team, from the sales team. They're getting an ask from a customer. So I'll take those ideas. I'll kind of use you know, my meat scientist brain and say, how can we do this? How can we accomplish this, right? And I'll, I'll start by taking it out to our pilot plant runs small batches, small scale, things like that. It's kind of a nice little Willy Wonka factory that we've got right here oh, at Johnsonville nice. um, that we can kind of uh, tweak and play with anything that you'd like that you can think about turning sausage into, right? And then we'll, uh, we'll scale up to facilities and get to run some actual trials in our production plants. You go by your judgment and you get feedback from people here at Johnsonville, but consumer feedback leads a lot of this, right? Absolutely, that's, that's key in, in getting us out to market. So we've got a, a variety of different tests that we'll take out to the consumer. Either we'll go into people's homes, in fact, they'll invite us into our homes, or we'll cook sausage for them, they'll let us know what they think. How do you get on that list? Oh, it's great, right? And they pay you. Okay, I'm giving you my information uh, after we're done it, here. So you really get to play innovator, and you get to experiment with all this stuff, and there's really no downside. Because if it's a bad idea, you can chuck it right away. Maybe just to my waistline, Eric. Yeah, you and me both. Because <laughs> I experiment with this probably as much as you do. Speaking of experimentation, I met up with another scientist at Johnsonville to find out what happens to the parts of the pig that we don't eat. So Lauren, SSR, Sustainable Swine Resources, right? And that's part of Johnsonville, I understand. It is, it's a division of Johnsonville and we're a division that focuses on finding exceptional value for our porcine materials that we don't utilize internally in sausage production. Those materials will then go back into animal feed, back to um, pet feed as well as fertilizer, biofuel. There's a lot of uh, porcine materials that are being utilized in medicine and have a great contribution. Um, that's extraordinarily important from us, from the animal, and just from overall sustainability and the impact that we're having on the environment. Kind of the ultimate recycling. It is. So it was a lot of fun here at Johnsonville today, and I learned stuff about sausage. Thought I knew it all. When you come down to Johnsonville, and you should, 
Check out the marketplace too. It's the only place where you can buy any sausage that Johnsonville makes that they sell anywhere in the United States. Binge all of the Discover Wisconsin episodes from this season on the Discover Wisconsin YouTube channel.